Hey guys, Phoenix here. So I got into the uh, Magic the Gathering Arena closed beta. I signed up for it a few months ago and just got the emails like, hey, you're in. So cool. So I'm going to do a few videos of this. I greatly love Magic. Never really came up on the channel yet. So I'm looking forward to doing this. For now, though, I need to figure out what's happening. So there's some quests down here. Those would be nice. What is this? Um, okay. So when I, win, when I win five games, I get one pack. Nah, whatever. Uh, I get 200 coins, daily quests. Lots of daily quests, okay. Store, how much do packs cost? A thousand coins a piece. Ugh. I do I start off with packs? Is that what this number is? Yes, it is. Okay, what do I get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. I want to get eight cards per pack instead of fifteen. Captain's hook. Uh, plus two power menace and as a pirate. And if I unattach it, destroy the guy. Okay. Cool. Open another one. Uh, anything interesting in here? Ooh, Mythic. Twilight Prophet. Flying Ascend, begin your upkeep if you have Saint's Blessing. Reveal the top card of your library and put it into your hand. Each pawn loses... Nice, okay. That's actually pretty nice. And Wayward Swordtooth. Nice. Nice 5-5 five, five for 3. Mm -hmm. Okay. What are... What are... Why? Okay. Ah, Sunbird Invocation. Cast spell from your hand, reveal X cards at the top of your library, where X is cards convert a mana cost. You may cast a spell with convert a mana cost, X or less from the revealed cards, put the rest in the bottom library. Whatever. Whatever! What are these? I don't understand. Entrancing Melody, and can't control a target creature, convert a mana cost, X. Ooh, called Feast. Search for a Skata. Um, if I have seven cards in my library, I can transform it into a Skata Sunken Ruin. Three mana, look at the top car four cards in my library, put a non creature, non land into my hand. Mm. A bit underwhelming. Creatures are in the battlefield, don't cause abilities to trigger. understand this. Whatever. Keep opening packs. Dream Stealer. Whenever Dream Stealer deals come damage to a player, they discard that many cards. That's a nice card. I want that in IRL. Uh Obel Spider is also pretty nice. Fonto's Last Reckoning, Board Wipe. But I don't get my lands next turn. Ugh. Angel of Condemnation. Oh, this one. Exile another target creature, return to that card to the battlefield under owner's control, beginning next end step. Or exert it to exile the creature until it leaves the field. Runs last stand, gets snake token, but no land next turn. What's the? Oh, what are these? Uh, 
I don't understand what these are. At all. Okay, sure. Time mats. Game of combat, target creature, token you control gets plus one, plus one unblockable. And then last pack I got. Eh, it's a swamp mountain with cycling. Wait, they're actually swamp mountains? Huh, I didn't think they had the dual land types. Okay, what are these? No, not settings. Is there a help button? Okay, store maybe? No. I can't purchase gems in the beta, I assume. Okay. So, I guess there's a bunch of pre-made decks. Ugh, I don't want to use a pre-made deck, though. Can I look at my... What are these? Tell me what these are. Okay, whatever. So these are all my white spells. Uh, only one anointed procession. Damn. Only one radiant. Man, I guess I'll just use a pre-made deck for now. How do I go back? Um, I'll use this one. Silencia Pride. So, first game. I don't know the controls. I guess there's no com play computer. So I guess I'll be playing against humans. Enjoy. You know, it's always fun playing against humans with a... Pre-made deck. Okay, cool. Can I see my hands? There it is. Uh, two land and opening hands. Well, it's a cat deck, so... Sure. Of course, turn one haste. Fuck you. What do you do? I was bad field, gain life equal to I can't s Jesus. The screen's actually too small on my main screen, so I can't see it. Which I will adjust after this game is over. Uh, let's see. Forest. Noiter Priest. Come on, bitch. And you're not going to counter it. Okay. Interesting choice. Not quite what I will have done. Probably, he probably misclicked. What do you do again? Iron's Battle Fiox out target on land. Permanent upon controls. Harsh Mentor. Well, fuck you. One opponent activates ability on artifact creature or land. If it doesn't make mana, then I take two damage. Of course, Cartouche's Zeal. <sighs> Fucking mono red. 
Sad part is I run this almost exact deck in IRL. Like, every card he's played is in my actual standard deck. In one of my five standard decks. Ow! Planes. Kitty cats. Other kitty cats. Uh, no attacks. It's not worth it to attack with the Annoyer Priest right now. So it's like one damage is not worth it when I'm at 10. I need blockers. What do you do exactly? I untap something. That's lame. Let me guess. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, block. Yeah, yeah, I can embalm it. That's the point. Ugh. Hmm. What is this? It starts as a 2 3. Or Garlos Plains. Uh, play you. And then. And bomb you. Which gives me a life from an order priest. And then no attackers. Okay. Okay, I'm getting there. A little bit of life gain it goes a long way. What? I didn't finish reading that. Uh, why do oh, oh, oh my, um, well I give Regal Cartel next turn. That I could eternalize it, gain four life again. Mm. Yeah, do that. Oh, I need this card. A card. Uh, bye bye, Pouncy Cheetah. Honestly, I didn't see the discard part of his cost, or else I probably wouldn't have done it. But this works fine. The four life was nice. Well, five life, if you count a Neuter Priest. And... Yeah, his effect does not damage me when I do that, because Eternalize and Embalm are both in the graveyard. And thus, not on a creature permanent card. It's on a creature spell, and as an activated ability. Bye-bye, Combat Celebrants. Um... Hmm. I'll play it. No attackers. It might be a good idea to keep Desert of the True in my hand to cycle. But I have the deserts in here that make me sacrifice other deserts. So I figured that was a better option. Cat tokens! One attacker. We double block. 
There you go. Um, the leftmost will be assigned damage first. So yeah, kill that one. Yep, that's how I want to do damage. I'm fine with that, don't worry. Come at me, bro. Damage doesn't go on the stack anymore. God fucking damn it. Damn Cartouche's eels. Is that one can't block? Okay. Um, I'll actually take three damage. I don't care. I gained so much life this past few turns, it's fine. Appeal. Ten of turns, our creature gets trample and plus X plus X for X is the number of creatures you control. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six lands. It takes three mana. Pouncing Sheena. Appeal. On the one with lifelink. Authority. They're tapped. All my guys get vigilance. In response, tap sec, maybe? Who knows? All attack. Um, nom 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 nom. All right, this cat also gets. Thank you. He surrendered. I won. Wow, I got like no experience for that. Or oh, there it is. Yay! I also get a dire fleet neckbreaker. If I make a black red pirate deck, maybe. Okay, uh, let's see, graphics. Uh, full screen, maybe? Okay, it's still full screen windowed. Now I should be able to actually see my cards. Okay, so I'll stop there for the f first episode. I spent a bit of time opening packs and stuff, so that ate up some time. I'll try to get more games in later. But, you know, if you like the video, then do the thing that lets me know the thing about the thing. Until next time, bye-bye.